Should race or gender have any influence over who gets accepted to college? The U.S. Supreme Court answered that question with a resounding no this morning, reaffirming Michigan's ban on affirmative action. But as Anthony Sabella reports, Michigan State University isn't going to let this decision impact its diversity. What do you think about the decision? Well, it, it, I found it predictable. That's about the only opinion MSU President Luana K. Simon had to offer on Tuesday's Supreme Court ruling. But the fact is, when it comes to letting people into Michigan State University, race and gender cannot be a factor. From what we heard going into the decision, uh, we weren't surprised by the outcome. And the school has been ready since Michigan first voted to ban affirmative action in 2006. We have reached out uh, to more communities to try to assure that they believe that uh, proposal two was not about denying opportunity, but the way in which we uh, do the mechanics of admission. In the meantime, having a diverse campus remains at the top of the list for MSU. That's all right, says State Attorney General Bill Schutte, as long as it's done fairly. We need to achieve this diverse student population by constitutional means. It's fundamentally wrong to treat people differently based on the color of your skin or your race or your gender or ethnicity. But it's not just race that's the issue. Some students on this campus say different people have different opportunities. I'm from Detroit. Me being a minority student, uh, we don't have uh, equal opportunities. As far as education. That's what MSU intends to keep addressing. What we're trying to do is prepare students for the world. What we're also trying to do is to be an engine of opportunity as we have been historically. Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. This ruling comes as MSU's Office for Inclusion and Intercultural Initiatives is promoting Project 6050. It's a year-long celebration of the 60th anniversary of the Brown versus the Topeka Board of Education case and the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Civil Rights Act.